Hi guys, welcome to my channel. When you change the way you think and believe, you change the way you act. Ken Coleman. Your financial habits shape how financially independent you can become. Good habits lead to positive outcomes, while bad habits, on the other hand, result in financial instability. Steve Burkholder once said, if you're saving, you're succeeding. In essence, success is impossible if you spend all your money. Without savings, you risk living paycheck to paycheck and may rely on credit cards, which incur fees and interest. For instance, spending your entire $5,000 salary before the month ends could lead to relying on credit, resulting in late fees up to $40. Saving ensures financial stability, creates a safety net for emergencies, reduces stress, and ultimately improves health and productivity. Have you ever received an email claiming you could become a millionaire in 24 hours for just a $34 registration fee? If you and 20 others fell for it, the scammers would make $680 at your expense. Similarly, success coaches charging up to $150 per hour can quickly deplete your finances with promises of instant success, leaving you broke and no closer to your goals. True success requires hard work, financial discipline, commitment, and patience. Consider Warren Buffett, who made his first million at 30. Hoping to get rich overnight is unrealistic, isn't it? Warren Buffett once said, never depend on a single income. Invest to create a second source. Depending solely on one income, stream can be the downfall of your financial independence because you're relying on it to meet all your financial needs. This often leaves you with nothing to save and may even push you into debt. For instance, if you earn $6,000 a month, a third of it might go toward rent. On top of that, you have insurance, student loans, car loans, and other financial obligations. Having multiple sources of income can transform your financial situation. Imagine earning an additional $3,000 a month on top of your $6,000 income. You could make significant financial strides. In 2020, New York led the U.S. in lottery sales with about $9.74 billion. Many people spend their money chasing jackpots, but the odds of winning the Powerball are only 1 in 292 million. With Americans spending over $1,000 a year on lottery tickets, this habit can negatively impact your finances. If you want to save money and achieve financial independence, it's time to stop playing the lottery and invest that money in opportunities with better returns. Spending a few dollars here and there may not seem significant, but it adds up quickly. For instance, that $5 coffee every morning can cost about $150 a month, totaling $1,800 a year. Using an ATM at a casino can incur fees of up to $10 per withdrawal, so three withdrawals mean wasting $30. Ignoring these small expenses can drain your finances over time. By managing them, you can save money, an essential step toward financial freedom. Remember, he who saves pennies earns dollars. Financial experts emphasize the importance of creating and sticking to a budget. A budget helps control spending and prevents overspending or impulse purchases. For example, Buying five packs of macaroni you don't need can cost around $10, and such small purchases can add up. Impulse buys based on cravings can also drain your finances and lead to regret. Creating a budget motivates you to track your progress and work toward financial goals without drastic lifestyle changes. It also prepares you for emergencies, like job loss, by ensuring you have an emergency fund for unexpected expenses. Don't be too hard on yourself if you've made mistakes. What matters is learning from them. Just because you believe not all financial institutions can fail doesn't mean the one you've invested in won't. For example, 
putting all your $500,000 in a pyramid scheme could lead to losing everything. Diversifying your investments can protect your savings, while not investing at all means your money isn't growing. Relying on a bank offering 0.06% interest isn't smart. Make wise financial choices, and you'll be in a better position. All investments carry some risk, though some are riskier than others. While keeping money in a bank is safe but offers low returns, higher-risk investments like a high-yield account or the stock market can be more rewarding. Avoiding risk, such as not starting a business, may prevent your money from growing. By understanding financial risks and rewards, like many do through reading and research, you can make informed decisions. Take time to learn the markets and choose the risks worth taking. You'll benefit in the long run. Your net worth to the world is usually determined by what remains after your bad habits are subtracted from your good ones. Unhealthy habits not only harm your body, but also cost you money. For instance, moderate drinking with friends can be fun, but overindulgence is harmful. If you spend $142 on beer every weekend, it adds up fast. Excessive drinking can damage your liver, lower productivity, and drain your finances. Breaking bad habits is crucial for both health and financial freedom. Thank you for being with us, and remember to subscribe for further beneficial advice to enrich your journey in life.